Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Hey, eh? Look. Yes. Look at you. Lil' Kim has been the talk of the town the past few days, and it's probably not the reason she wants you all talking. Kim went off on a since-deleted Instagram post where she decided to cancel her press tour due to being disrespected and asked questions, mainly Nicki Minaj questions, and I presume plastic surgery and possible bleaching questions as well. One of the reasons it's not happening is because Two of the major outlets wanted to be messy. And my publicist and my manager made the executive decision to shut it down. Well, in the midst of all of this going down, Kim outed Andy Cohen and his Watch What Happens Live show as one of the shows that pissed her off. Now, in the comment section underneath her video, a commenter stated, we'll see you on Wendy soon. And Queen B said, nope. Well, I'm not sure if Wendy caught that shade, honey, but Wendy talked about Kim on her Hot Topic segment the other day, and Wendy threw a lot of shade herself. Look, don't be mad at everybody. You knew what you signed up for when you became iconic and legendary. Kim was supposed to do press next week. You all have been asking about her coming on our show. And you remember I teased you like three different times. Kim's coming, I'd give you a date, and then I'd be waiting for the date too. And then Kim would cancel. And it's because she um, has uh, this album that's supposed to be coming out. And whatever's going on with the album, that was delayed. And then I'd give you another date. And then I was looking forward to it as well. The whole, we were all looking forward to it. Me, you, the world. Tana, I don't know if you guys have followed the Lil' Kim, Wendy Williams beef, honey, but these women have been beefing for years. I mean, years and years. It goes way back. Man, do you want to talk about Lil' Kim? Yes. And that face of hers? <laughs> In my mind, I know your goal was always to look like Latoya Jackson. You've out Latoya Latoya in your new look. I just, and, and don't blame Photoshopping, blame your plastic surgeon, girl. And little Kim, take this with love, because I love both of you. You're too old at this particular point to even think about rapping. You should have taken your 15 minutes on Dancing with Stars and you should have done something with it. Now, I don't know what, you know, I don't know whether it's to, to go across the pond and marry a count and come back here and, you know, or what, or whether. So on Twitter, Lil' Kim responded back in 2013 to all of this and she said, Wendy Williams, stop hating on me because you mm, bigs, mm, and he didn't want nothing to do with your ass after that. So Lil' Kim pretty much outed that Wendy and Biggie had something going on in the past and Biggie kind of just left on the sideline and that may be a reason why Wendy doesn't really fool with Kim like that. Biggie also dated Kim at some point so maybe Wendy was just in her territorial jealous female ways. Who knows, honey? I honestly just wanted to catch you up on the possibility of why Kim does not want to do Wendy's shows. They obviously have beef and Wendy has been talking a lot of junk. Now let's get back into what Wendy was just recently talking about. She says that the questions that interviewers were to ask her would be too messy. But Kim, Kim, you've been around long enough, you can't possibly think. And by the way, when you were to come on Wendy, I already knew even before your publicist or you, whoever was gonna try to lay down some laws of what I can't ask and what I can't ask, I wasn't gonna dwell on plastic surgery, but I would make mention. <laughs> Look, Kim, there's no way to get around plastic surgery. There's no way to get around allegations of skin bleaching. There's no way to get around stuff. But I wasn't gonna dwell on that. You could go on other shows where she's canceled everything and she's not mad at our show from what I understand. It's just that our show is caught up in the fray of her not promoting. Anyway, um, <laughs> look, but, but if you came here on Wendy, we would give you your just due. But I'm not begging you to come. It's okay, I understand. We're talking about you right now. I will promote for you your upcoming show that maybe nobody wants to watch because it doesn't look that interesting. I'm just saying. Um, I would like to have little Kim's personal telephone number and I would like to call Kim and I would like to go over to the house Kardashian style. <laughs> yup, yeah, right. Wendy, I'm not going to lie to you. You probably want to go ahead and save your gas now because I know when Kim come to the door, she going to be like. I'm being real with you because I heard about you. I was waiting on you at the door. Yeah. 
all honesty, Wendy has talked too much junk about Kim over the years, and it seems like even when they try to get cool with each other, Wendy goes and messes it up again. Hey, Kim! Congratulations on the baby! Royal reign! Uh-huh! I'm looking forward to the appearance tonight with Ladies Night. Thank you, Kim. So do you. All the baby weight gone, right, girl? Uh, but I did enjoy hosting the Soul Train Awards. I enjoyed the after party as well. And um, it was really nice to catch up with people that I hadn't seen in a very long time. Yeah. You know, like the brat, like Joe, you know, even little Kim. You are, know. Are y'all cool? Yes, we are cool. I didn't. Th I thought we were cool, but apparently we weren't cool. But it turns out all it takes is for me to say, I say, hey, Kim, I haven't seen you in a while. Congratulations on Royal Reign. She said, mm -hmm. she said, you look terrific. But you see how that works sometimes? Yeah. You think you're not cool and anyway so it was nice seeing um it was nice catching how up how did her people. face look in person listen you know uh, yes little kim clearly has had a lot of work done well she, she her skin is a lot lighter mm. and um clearly you know she has a little implant action working but you know, you know the thing about kim kim's got a sweet personality now you know your girl Chronicles is good for bringing up some old vintage tea, honey. This vintage tea is from 2001 where Lil' Kim met up with Wendy Williams and she had an interview with her. Wendy asked her about all of her surgeries and Kim kept a real classy base, honey. She kept a real classy base. Listen to this. This is here. Kim, I do have to say, you want to know what? You look like a different person, but you don't look bad. You know what you know what I'm saying? You know how they say like um like if you get a nose job or something like that. Like and it was hard to see on television. You know the different angles that the camera was was uh, uh, showing on different television shows and in magazines. It looks cute. Tell me what you had the doctor do. Come on now. Did you go in and say just take a little bit off my sides because it doesn't look like you got like you had to? Come on, I'm familiar with plastic surgery except I haven't been done from the neck up. Turn her mic on, please. Lean into the mic, Tim. No, some of my girls, meaning, you know, listeners and stuff, some of my girls were speculating that you had either your chin, your cheeks, your implants and all like that. And I'm looking at you and I don't see that. Have you had that That's done? That's a compliment. All of this, all of that, everything that they said I've gotten done is a compliment. I mean, you know, it's just obvious. Yeah. By my cats or whatever, you know, but... but mine too. Yeah, you know how many women in the industry just don't... Me! I got mine done before you. I had little, little, uh, even though I'm a taller girl, I had little boobs. You know what I'm saying? You look I double beat them up. You what? what? Yes. Yeah. So are you satisfied with your nose job the way it came out? I'm asking you, Kim. You know what I'm saying? Are you going to go back under and get anything tweaked? Are you I'm not satisfied? I'm getting anything done to myself. I'm not getting anything. Anything more? People can speculate about what they think I have done or yeah. what I have done, but actually, I have not had a lot of like face offering and stuff like that. Not yeah. Done. All right. Well, let me just go down what what I think everybody thinks that you had done: liposuction, mm -hmm. um, the breast implants, mm -hmm. the nose job, and I go along with those three. <laughs> the the cheek implants I don't go along with. Oh, and everybody knows you know your teeth you know, got them done. You know, and if other people took better care of their teeth, then perhaps you know they wouldn't be so envious of how beautiful and white yours are. Uh, I, you I'm in a hot seat right now, but it's all good. No, no, I love it. No, Kim, I love it. So, have, did you use one plastic surgeon for everything? I have, a, I, have, I have a great doctor, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like I said, I don't have face offering and all of that. I, I don't, don't curse him. But I, I don't believe that. But however, I'm going to use before and after pictures. Now that I'm looking at you, I'm going to go through my little Kim archive of pictures. You can, but you know something that's a compliment. Yeah. I mean, you know, hey, I mean, thank you. But it's, it's, I know there's a lot of black women who don't agree with plastic, um, surgery. plastic surgery, period. And I understand that. That's fine. You know what I mean? I, I feel you. But actually, that doesn't change who I am as a person and in my heart. You know, there's some people who have big bones in their nose. Right. Where, you know, it, it, it blinds you. You know, their eyes. Right. The way they, they want to make it easier for them in life. And that's what they so, do. So, like, how long did you have the packing in your nose and all like that? And how long were you black and blue? And where did you convalesce? Did you go someplace fabulous? <laughs> Look, um... Like I said, um... Come on, Kim. I mean, I just don't... I just, it's not really anything to talk about. Like, you it's know, not? Like, I don't think so. I mean, we know that we, I've had a restaurant. Yeah. I've had, you know, whatever. Yeah. Teeth and, you know, cake. Okay. But like I said, it's, it's, it's not really... It's like, whatever. Is that me? How I am? Whatever. Do we, do we really, really, really care that... Michael had all these things done. No, but we care that little Kim had it done. <laughs> it up. I'm loving having you here, Kim. 
Okay. <laughs> Don't look at this interview sideways, because I am a supporter. I love it, too. I love it. I'm going to go on the back. See? Okay. You hip-hop freak. Now, Wendy didn't even catch the shade that little Kim threw. She said that she wasn't bothered. She said, I'm going to go in the bathroom, sniff some cocaine. <laughs> I am a supporter. I love it, too. I love it. I'm going to go on the back. See? Okay. You hip-hop freak. <laughs> Y'all, she straight gave it to Wendy, and Wendy didn't even catch it. Let's talk about fueling your stuff. You, on the other hand, have admitted to being addicted to cocaine. Absolutely. Secondly, you continue to show symptoms of your addiction. Okay. Lastly, what are those symptoms coming? These nasal passages you keep uh, yes. coughing up. And I did. Woo, child, we all got a pass now, don't we? What I need you guys to do is leave a comment. Tell me what you think about everything that Lil' Kim and Wendy have gone through. And do you think that's the reason why she won't come on the Wendy Williams show? In all the years that Wendy has had her show, when have you seen Kim on it? Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. Now, before I end this video, I want to tell you about a company called Ash Kicking. Now, you know your girl Chronicles would not promote a company without doing one of those thorough Chronicle Speaks investigations, honey. And Ash Kicking definitely pass the test y'all make sure to check out ashkicking.com for one of the best 100% natural home fragrance and beauty products honey and use my code chronicles at checkout for an extra 15% off just for you also make sure to check out X Moisture which is a 100% organic moisturizer that destroys all your skin problems. Eczema, dry skin, rosacea, you name it, they got you covered. They also have before and after pictures. Check them out at www.xmoisture.com and tell them your girl Chronicles sent you. And before you go, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications, like this video, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye!